So, um, all right. Wait. So this one right here is called Zyhard Four. I assume that's the cool. And this is Zygarde's cell. You see he's getting a little bit more color, becoming more, it looks like it might be trying to form that second eye. See, please. Yeah, you know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is Zygarde's 10% form. You know what this reminds me of? Uh, chaos. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, they're ripping off that too. Yeah. It's totally that. Yes, it is. If, and if only Eric working on the seven. Mega, what we believe to be Mega Zygarde. Or 100% Perfect Zygarde. They already called it Perfect Form. Perfect Form yeah. Zygarde. I don't know what that is yeah. supposed to be. I mean, yeah, like, you know, know, what's it's on, on, so Perfect Form is also like... Is it going to be... Too too much much so they could do it in two ways. They could do Mega Stones, but since they're calling it Perfect, perhaps they're going to do it somewhere along the lines of Kyogre and Groudon. Well, you... Me some sort of like thing like with the black black um two and white two because you see there's the uh, like the red yeah. from like um, Eveltal. Oh my god! If he has to if he has to absorb Eveltal and and Z uh, Uvelta on uh, that Xerneas, that would be ridiculous. Wait, my money is that, to that this is a clone because they had a bunch uh, of in the little trailer they had a bunch of these little th those first form things all yeah. together in a laboratory. Well, we actually... Mm -hmm. This we, might be, like, a Mewtwo evolution. We've actually from, almost from confirmed uh, from sources that uh, we know what the uh, cells do. Basically, he's split up in a bunch of little blips, and you go across and you get all the blurbs together and kind of just mush them into a big puddle until they become that. Oh, okay. So you're... I think because anime is called XYZ and not Z or anything like that, I honestly think maybe... This is going to be right after X and Y, or slightly different parallel situation, where in order to fix everything, like, you know, maybe because the thing came down, it disturbed Zygarde and split him up into a bunch of blobs, and you gotta get the blobs back. Also, flowers. Has anyone figured out what flowers means yet? What flowers? Uh, in an interview, one of the directors said that if you want to know about Pokemon Z or whatever, uh, you need to look at flowers. Just well, right. No, flo just well, I mean, flowers. Actually, That's all they said. Actually, I mean, I'm thinking just like Zagard's normal ability, like in the one game. Uh, or a break. Kind of or, no, no, it's... No, 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 it's a, it reverses, what's it called? It reverses... It's aura break. Effects. Aura break, yeah. Aura break, yeah, yeah. Aura reverses break. the effects of auras. Also, do you know about his whole tie to nature and everything? Zagard? Yeah. No, Basically, um, he is... He hides in the cave and everything, and he kind of has... Um, he has two unique moves that aren't in the game yet. They're coming in Z and everything, called Thousand Arrows and Thousand Waves. Thousand Arrows is he puts a bunch of things into the sky and they crash down, and Thousand Waves is just, you know, goes into the earth and attacks and stuff. And um, it, in the description of the moves, it's all the stuff about basically his connection with the earth and how if there's ever a disturbance in the environment, he comes out and releases its hidden energy to restore balance to nature. Not nature, the environment, specifically. So he's like, like neutral? Like life yes. and death in your He's room. not, because he, it's about life and death, okay? Oh, yeah. He's not about saving plant, saving no, plant life or anything. And that. he's not about killing things. Balance. He's about the rocks. He's a ground type for a reason. Mm -hmm. He's about keeping the environment stable. He's he like the center yeah, like the point. ecosystem. And it, yes, eco, not it's not as right. ecosystem, I think. Because like the big Something picture, like not yeah. like the little things. So he like plow through like whatever he needs yeah. to save the big And thing. here's the thing. Thousand Arrows hits all targets. Um, uh, look up Thousand Arrows and Thousand Ways. No, no. Okay, Thousand... Thousand, um, yeah. thousand Arrows is a ground-type move that hits all targets no matter where they are. Thousand Waves hits... Um, what is Thousand Waves? I forget what it does. Um, can't Flee from Battle. So, mute that. Um... I, I use this video, uh, video and everything. Um, yeah, yeah, so you've got to think about that. S something that has the power to hit anything, no matter where you are, and keep you from running away. One thing to take care of Delta, one thing to take care of Xerneas or something, but it's like... And there's Aura Break right there, which completely shuts down Yveltal and Xerneas' abilities. So take a look at this stuff. You, te you tell me whether or not this looks like some kind of weird... Connection with Earth thing. Are you filming this? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just oh, um, There's thousand arrows. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thousand arrows. Thousand 
that hits everything in its ground. That reminds me of um, Judgment Day. Yeah. yeah, it does. It should because he's 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 a big dude. Plus thousand arms, thousand arrows, thousand waves. It's weird. I'm interested. Also, there's a whole obsession with um. Uh, <laughs> Bushy would be proud. So watch. This is the thing to look for. Watch Zygarde. Watch what he does. Done and done and done. All right, here we go. Watch Zygarde himself. He turns into the ground and he attacks, and then he he turns into a bunch of little cells, and then he comes back. He actually goes into the earth. So a theory that we made in our kind of crackpot theory video back on my channel was um, we had the idea that what if um, he sits in the cave and he has some kind of terra location where he can kind of like see through the earth to see what's going on in the place. And then he comes out and his Pokedex talks about he releases his hidden energy to restore balance and stuff, which I guess is, From, uh, yeah. I guess is the cores. What if, what if instead he, sorry, what if, what if instead he turns into Fallen? You saw him turn into a bunch of little hex. No, he's from what um, this or from what this segment is saying right here on Cerebi, It looks like Zygarde's like core form is its natural form, and then it absorbs other cells when the danger is greater. So it'll become cell when it needs to move around to different places. It'll become Zygarde ten percent form when the situation calls for it. Zygarde's original form is actually fifty percent, and then when the danger to the earth is too great, he will change, Zygar will change to Zygar's mm -hmm. complete form. Yeah. Which, it says, its power is said to be greater than that of the legendary Pokemon Zerny's Heavy Bell So, we'll have to wait for all the more, I mean, for all the final yeah. details, but that's I mean, even like, all right, right, right now, right now, I'm thinking that maybe, maybe it's made out of like, a bunch of different, like, microorganisms, like a bunch, like, yeah, all these, all these cores and, and cells and stuff, like, like, they're all like conscious, that, and, and, and that's mm -hmm. how, but all, He's like a giant nanobot. I know. Well, that's kind of how a lot of it reminds me of like science works. Something exactly, like yeah. In science class. There's like this small, like single, maybe not single, but really tiny organism where you like you can chop its head and split it right in the center, and then both it will grow two new heads. Uh, yeah. No. What? Hydra. What? Yeah, Hydra. It, Is it a Hydra? Yeah. yeah Hydras are also the things that live forever. I don't know they're, that. Well, they're they're immortal they because. Do that, but there are plants that do that too. Yeah, but the hydra, like it, it's a little tree that turns into a jellyfish, that turns back into a tree, that turns into a jellyfish. No, no, just... no, I'm not talking about. Oh, all right. It actually kind of looks like this, this core, oh. wow. and it will just like its head will. If you cut its head, two new heads. I still think you're talking about a hydra. Yeah. yeah. Like um, if I remember back in high school, I remember. It was like a couple years ago. Clever was yes. Yeah. Oh, um, so when I first saw this and I saw the band across, can you get the full image on the full version? Complete? Yeah. So there's these blue, white, and, and like purple, blue, white, orange, red bands. At first I thought, oh, it's referencing the Kalos map, you know? It goes blue, white, r blue, white, orange or whatever because the regions. But in the trailer image, he opens that up and he's got five gems inside him. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever see the second picture? No. Look up the movie. Look up the movie poster, and it shows a giant, uh, complete Zygarde in the back, and his chest opens up like a jack o' lantern. Whoa. There it is. Uh, no. Does that make him a zygo lantern? Yeah. Um. Oh, that one on the left. On the left. Left, left, left. There it is. All right. Look at this weird five gems and stuff inside his inside his belly. All right. So if you zoom in on that by scrolling, he's got these gems. And the Astro sundial is there, and there's the dog, and. Oh, and the, and the entire purpose of the girl is just to hold the blob. And the new Greninja, which... Yeah. Mega some people think Mega Greninja, some people think it's that it might be a special... Yeah. Hmm? 
They explain that on the main website, what that is. They claim it's like when the bond between the trainer and the Pokemon becomes like, you know, yeah, nice so out or whatever, it's so change. So it'll be like Which Ash's really, Greninja. really says something about Ash's and Pikachu's bond. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How long has he known Greninja for? <laughs> oh, oh, move aside. Wait, wait, let's just let's just zoom in on. Uh, well, it's because <laughs> it's because oh, wait, 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 no. it's on. because he never lets it evolve. He got skinnier. That's why. Oh, oh yeah. We need to get Pikachu a two D outfit. Okay, so I have a very important question about legendaries. Yes. Has Volcanion been in any of these movies? No. Oh, yeah. Volcanion. Do you guys? It hasn't been officially announced. Okay, so so Volcanian is weird. It's awesome. Pull up a picture of him. Um, the thing about Volcanian is that it has the power to blow up a mountain with steam. More flavor text. With steam, <laughs> these arms come out and it can blow up a mountain. Now I've spent like I spent a whole week during the summer trying to find this said valley where it's supposed to people revere it as a as a land creating god or something. Like in actual life? Or? Yeah, I'm trying to find a place where like a mountain could have been blown off. But I can't find something that fits all the situations because it's supposed to be in the south of Kalos. It's supposed to be in a weird valley situation. It's just, it, uh, and he, uh, he's so powerful, but we don't know what he does. <laughs> we also, also amazing thing, it can, di it can create steam, like giant steam clouds and then disappear into the steam. Like, there's a story about someone who's walking through a fog, and then he sees Volcanion, and that's gone. Like, he goes where it is, and it, it's just gone. It can move really fast in the fog or something. No, it kind of reminds me of, um... Vaporeon? No, um, Heatran. Yeah, yeah I but... Really got but Heatran doesn't Heatran. really move. This thing is, like, mobile as heck. Well, it's yeah. a volcano. Like, like, sweet moon, but, like, like, well, but it's steam. It's a steam volcano. Yeah, but... Same with hot... But volcanoes are just... Magmix yes, but earth, usually which when is, you, usually the like source of hot springs. Yeah, I, I'm just saying that usually it's the magma magma that causes damage, not the hot spring. This thing has a steam explosion move. It's literally called like steam explosion. Unless it's overheating. Um. Well, there is an area. And it talks about how it has an organ inside of it that does this, and it's the most powerful organ ever. And it's all these talks about organs like. Rayquaza has an organ and stuff. You guys know about the, uh, what's yeah. it called? I, they, they named Mikado something, organ. Something weird like that, I don't know. Uh, now, what you were saying, you were looking for the area in X and Y. Call me crazy, but it's I, not can, the desert. I can swear that there are areas in X and Y that are actually shown, but it's like not a location even on the map. Yeah, you know, next to Pokemon Village. No, well, kind of. The um, Victory Road. When you go up to that mountain, you reverse the final rival battle. With Caleb or Serena, yeah. whoever it is. And there's that overlook area? Yeah, the overlook. There's yeah. a village there, but no matter what area you look at on the map, it does not... We're gonna... It, it's it's it, a it, spring it back not. cave situation. It's a turn back cave situation. Yeah, it's just an area where it's... Um, it's gonna it's, be it's released. on the map, but yeah. it's there. You can't get there, but... You know, it's... Um, we also had some crazy theories about... You know how in the first time we see complete uh, Zygarde, no. he's in the mist? And oh, yeah. it's all foggy and it's black and white? We were like, is that Volcanion's mist? What's going on with it? Oh, and uh, in the Mr. Dungeon game, uh, there's a Hoopa that summons a random legendary that might attack you. That game's ridiculous. What the hell is a Hoopa? Yeah, th there's a Hoopa, not unbound, Hoopa can confined, and you can summon it, like on a timer, and it'll summon like a Lugia or a Ho, and it might try to kill you. <laughs> I would like a Ho, I would love to catch one of those. But isn't that game all about making friends? <laughs> they won't have criminals. Have you guys seen the have you guys seen the animated short about Hoopa's backstory? No. With the kids in the Middle Eastern country? Oh, Middle Eastern. Well, yeah, it's it's like it's like a it's like a thirteen minute short. You guys should all like it will get to it eventually. I just have to say something. Has everyone here seen Pokemon Go just I have yeah. Has anyone here not seen the trailer for Pokemon Go? We should watch it again just in case. Yeah, just yeah, watch it. It's amazing. And keep in mind, everyone has to go and see the press release, which goes in more depth about you know the game and everything. If you want more information. Here we go. I wish I